What's up, YouTube? Welcome back. What's up to the Benz community? We back again once more to do a video on my two year ownership. So this time I'm going to be extra real. I'm going to tell you guys what breaks, what you need to look out for and all that good stuff. So let's get into detail. Two years. So this is my two year anniversary of having the car. And as you can see, I did a car wrap just in case you guys don't watch my other videos. But if you do and you keep up with me, then you know I put a car wrap on here. It's a matte metallic and 22 inch wheels. No modifications. They fit right on. No rub whatsoever. And a lot of people ask my tire size. So and they want to know. So I'm going to tell you guys right now. It's right here. I don't know if the camera is picking that up or maybe y'all just can't see it. But it's 255, 30, 22 in the front. The rear. I don't know if you can see that either. It's 295, 25, 22. So service on the car. I never paid more than $500. There's always a service A and a service B. And one runs me about $200 and one maybe $300, like the high upper 300s. And we could go into like a lot of stuff that I did that went out and we're going to get right in. All right, so this thing right here has broke. If you can see, that broke off. My parking brake doesn't work. One day I was outside and it actually kept lock latching off. And it got stuck and I drove off and it, it pulled off, but now it doesn't work. And that's really the only thing that went out on the car as far as maintenance wise go on the insides. The parking brake stopped working and the little middle console. And I think that's my fault because I always put my hand right there on the middle console. But those are the only two things that went out on the car. It's a, this year is a 2008, once again, for people that don't watch my videos, once again, it's a year 2008. And so now that we got that covered, that's the only thing on the outside went out. I mean on the inside. Now on the outside, let's get to work that need done. Okay, brakes. I went through two pair of brakes and it's mostly the front that need the brakes fixed the most. It's mostly always the front, especially when you put wheels on. I put wheels on, no modifications. Uh, the motor mounts just went out, but that comes from me. I come around corners and I accelerate kind of hard, so you can blame that on me. And that's really it. It's nothing other than just basic stuff. Like nothing has went out. The suspension didn't went out. The windows go up and down. I did have one thing with the passenger side windows where the window right here in the back when I roll them up. It doesn't latch on all the way, but as of lately, as for the last year, it's been latching on every time. But those are some common things, guys, that you need to watch out for. Is make sure these windows work. I know I said this in another video, but this is the stuff just in my two year that you need to watch out for. The windows rolling up and down all the time. The massage and seats function sometimes. It worked every time I used it, but sometimes like when you're trying to put your seat back in for the lumbar it'll stay out for a while and then it kind of adjusts itself but after a while so a lot of people that are on the fence about these cars i would say if you are on the fence about this car go ahead and get one but try to get one with extended warranty if you fear the cost of fixing stuff on the car but i'm hard-headed so the, this car was like so beautiful to me that I got it no matter what. I didn't care what the costs was. I didn't care what the prices was. I didn't care what nothing was. I just wanted the car. So if you could just guys, if I always make these videos and just show you guys some angles, like when you see it in person, it's just more, it just looks better. I'll be trying to get the best angles on the camera for you guys to see like the best angle to where you can see all the lines on the car and and everything on the car, the original paint I had on the car held up, no rust. Sound system's pretty good, except I think my back is out, the rear speaker is out, but I picked up the car like that, so that wasn't really on me. But everything on this car has worked for my two years, and I enjoy this car, I enjoy having this car. And if you guys got any questions, put it in the comments. I'll try my hardest to respond like I always do if you guys want to know anything else that I'm not covering about the car of my two years having it 
and I drove it approximately 10,000 miles a year. That's unbelievable for me because I'm always driving. I like to drive, especially when you got a car like this sitting at home. It's kind of like, why not? But like, comment, subscribe, guys, and let me know because if you guys like these videos, I'll keep making more videos. So this one is just more of my two-year update. What happens to the car? And that's just mostly inside. Nothing went out. My trunk still closed and unlocks. Like everything, like everything still latches on, but then I have about 60 something thousand miles. If you get one of these with 90, 100, you have to do your research and make sure that these cars are well taken care of. And as you know, the only bad thing about these cars, guys, is, I mean, they do hold their value for, mm, I would say for most of the time, not good though. The depreciation is real. So they don't hold up, they value that well, but this is a 2008 model and it's still going for at least over 20,000. To me, that's a lot, even though if you cater in the amount that what it used to cost when these cars was new was over $100,000. So in that case, I don't know guys, you guys tell me, but I think the margin, I think the margin and the market price is real good for them right now. You get more car for your dollar than what you're getting. It's almost like a steal getting this car because you're getting way more than what they're like telling you you're getting a lot of people is like they don't even know what a cl mercedes is and i'm telling you guys when i say this i do not see a lot of these on the road i may be seen in my whole time of driving this car i may have seen about 12 cls on the street my body with the newer body the old ones i see too but i don't factor in those i try to see what i see more is it this car or is it a bentley let me know in the comments, guys, what you guys see like on the road. Even if you live in Beverly Hills, wherever you stay at, let me know what cars you see on the road more. The CL model, not Mercedes in general. You should see a, a S ton of Mercedes. So, but let me know. Just the Bentley GT, though, Continental versus this car. Like, which one do you guys see more? But I know this car is getting cheaper, so you might see more of these because of that. But these cars are not mass produce and the bentley gt is but what makes the bentley gt rare is its price tag and ever since i got this car wrap i've been getting nothing but ton of compliments on it like everyone loves it they love the color i did especially if you know what color i had before and if you don't guys make sure you watch my other videos i got a lot of details and a lot of explaining and everything in details i do have the sound system video coming up Someone do wants to see a sound system video, but I just don't want to get copyrighted for the music. So I'll try to make it short and sweet and get to the point. If you see this car from far away, it'll definitely grab your attention just by the way it looks like. Like, 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 let's say we're walking up to the car from like the back end angle. You can see it like real clear. But I know we already late, so you guys, you know what we got to do? Let's get some angle. And I'm trying to think of any real instances where I have to take my car to the shop to get something done. Besides what you guys see. Oh, yeah, guys, I got to tell you, the engine light did come on time to time. And that's only when I didn't let the car warm all the way up. But if you're on the fence about one of these, I will say go ahead and do it. Now is the perfect time to grab a CL. Mine's I got a CL 550 and my bro has a CL 63. No major problems really whatsoever outside of like a window getting fixed and brakes and new tires. I always need back tires, but if you see how wide these tires are, you would know why. Back tires are super wide. But yeah, and the 22s fit, no problem. So you can get 22s on here, perfect fit, no problem. So yeah, guys, uh, I'm signing off. You guys let me know in the comments. 
like what you guys want to see in the future on this car on the 63 I, I got way more videos coming this was just like a two-year anniversary just video of me just getting angles and just talking yeah uh the two years so no real major problems like nothing that costed me a thousand dollars probably to fix the mounts are going to be a thousand dollars i had a e320 and those mounts are over a thousand dollars to fix so i know these would be over a thousand dollars to fix but that'll be my only major repair and that's from me revving the car a lot so signing off make sure you like comment subscribe for more videos guys let me know in the comments what you want to see and i will try my hardest to make these videos remember this is our channel and i'm doing this for you guys to know everything you can about a cl 550 or amg or anything you want to know let me know signing off